Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel, Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, looking at your recent past, your current energy, and your immediate future, answering the question, what does the divine want you to know right now? As always, I've gone ahead and pulled the overall oracle cards for your past, present, and future, as well as the overall theme for the reading. We'll be diving into the tarot deck I already have shuffled, as well as the decks I'll be using in the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. <laughs> okay. This is going to be, I can already tell, I can already tell by what's come out, um, one of those tough truth kind of readings. So if you are not in a space right now where you feel like you are able to receive that, then that is absolutely okay. And I recommend not watching this. Um, but I feel like this could also be very freeing for those of you that are in a place for this right now. In your recent past, you have revealed what needs to be seen with forgiveness. Someone or something, um, something happened and it made you feel really not good. I feel like it, it, it kind of broke your heart in a way. Um, and the universe is asking you to search in your heart for forgiveness of this situation. Now, bear with me because this, this forgiveness is associated with your freedom of being able to release yourself from this energy because you've been stuck in this. You've been stuck in the pain associated with what has happened to you, and you do not deserve to feel stuck in that anymore, okay? But in order to release yourself from it, there's a need to see it from a very different perspective than you have been. Your current energy, you have, know you are loved with the humble. Your ego right now is getting in the way of you being able to fully understand this situation from a perspective that will allow you to move forward because here's the thing about forgiveness you know when you're really feeling hurt the one the thing that I, I'll hear people say the most often is well they don't deserve my forgiveness okay that's certainly one way to look at it and I completely understand that point of view however that just gives that person or situation continued power over you because you will continue to feed that with energetic hate or frustration or anger, whatever the case is. Now, anger is a very powerful energy and it can be very healing. It absolutely can. But you want to use that anger to free yourself, not to feed that negative energy. Because the more that you do that, the more you keep yourself stuck in that person's or situation's energy. And the more that you do that, the more it continues to affect you and to make you feel bad about yourself, your life, and your future. So your ego is a little bit in the way right now, and that's okay. We all have one. There's just a need, and, and it's making it hard for you to see it from the perspective of love. Now, one of my favorite quotes, and it's un, like the uh, it's unknown who said it, but it's in my cards and I see it on social media sometimes, but it says, and I actually, it's interesting that this reading is coming up because I actually posted this on my Instagram this week. But a person who blames others has not begun their lesson. A person who blames themselves has begun their lesson and a person who blames no one has finished their lesson. It's really easy when something happens to you and you've been hurt to put all of the blame on the other person. Whenever you are able to take that blame away from the other person and redirect it to seeing the role that you played and the, the lesson that was intended for you to learn, the more that you are able to set yourself free from it. So there's the need here to redirect from the situation and what has happened to you to yourself and to see it through the lens of, you being in the other person's perspective. You know, one thing that has really helped me, and I promise, well, I'm not going to speak so much throughout this reading, but when you can see other people as children and you see them learning and falling, you know, making mistakes and trying, you know, just wanting to be loved like everybody else, it, it's a lot easier to give empathy towards the people you hurt, who hurt you. Now, that does not mean you are disregarding what has happened 
what it means is you are saying, yes, this happened to me. Yes, it hurt. You're actually more validating what has happened to you by saying, yes, all of these things happened to me. It sucked. It hurt. This person, you know, did me wrong. But here's the good that came from it. Now, it's not invalidating what happened. It's not invalidating the bad. It's shifting your perspective. And the more that you can look at it that way, you can say, okay, this needed to happen for whatever reason. I've learned these lessons. I'm moving forward with these lessons. And I can ensure, because I learned what I needed to, that this lesson will never repeat itself in my life again. Now, in your immediate future, you have to tend to the details and unleash your kind of self. So the way that these energies kind of usually come through is what happened in your past? How is it affecting your current energy? And what can you do to free yourself from it? And so the way that I'm seeing this future energy is there is a need to look at this through the lens. And I've already kind of said this, but through the lens of love and compassion. Now, again, that's really difficult to do whenever you are dealing with someone who has hurt you. But the more that you can do that, the more that you can you can free yourself from it. Because especially if you're dealing with like an energy vampire or a narcissist or someone like that, Eating their energy in a negative way is what they want. They don't care if it, what kind of attention you're giving them. They just want the attention, right? So whether it's positive or negative, they don't care. So when you're, you know, when you're feeding that energy, and it doesn't mean in the material world, right? You don't have to actually be saying anything to them. But think about like, you know how exes can always tell when you're moving on. It's like you finally go on a date with someone that you love spending time with, not love, but that you love spending time with, and you get that text from your ex. It's like, what's up, you know? Um, People feel that energetic connection. Whenever you are feeding it in an energetic way, people can feel that. And, and there's this, you know, the overall energy for the reading, you have open your heart and fresh approach. There's this need to open yourself up to viewing whatever has happened to you from a place that is vastly different than where you have been viewing this because you have continued to allow yourself to stay stuck in this energy and you deserve to be free of it. Let's start, Scorpio, by looking at your recent past. You have reveal what needs to be seen with forgive. So let's dive into the situation. What is Scorpio dealing with in their past that's affecting their current energy? This is for Scorpio. This reading is for Scorpio, please. Oof. This is for Scorpio. Okay, there's that perspective shift. Something that, something that you had a lot of feelings for, a lot of passion, a lot of intensity, took a wrong turn. And things started to kind of, not started to, but did change for the worst. Now, this is kind of what I've been saying. This is this need to shift your perspective on what you were investing in here. Because this situation, it didn't treat you like you deserved. It didn't. And you knew that. You knew that. But I feel like there's a part of you that ignored the way that you felt for the sake of the situation. And we do that sometimes. You know, we ignore the way that people treat us because we're afraid of losing them or whatever the case is. We, you know, we give them the benefit of the doubt more than we give ourselves, you know. And I see that all the time with people who are in unhealthy relationships with someone who doesn't treat them well. Now, I kind of have my own experience. I'm not going to talk about it quite yet, but I can definitely relate to this reading in a way that um, I will, I'll talk about a little later on. But let's see. The Scorpio's recent past, please. Scorpio's recent past. See, the situation, it, it frustrated you. And it made you very emotional. And I feel like it really, like, You couldn't, it's almost like, I don't know if you were wearing rose colored glasses or just choosing not to see the truth of it, but there was this level of not being totally honest with yourself about what was really happening. 
And again, it, it feels like you gave whatever the situation of this person, the benefit of the doubt more than you gave yourself. You love someone or something else more than you. That's shown here with the lovers in reverse card. You weren't choosing your own value. In this situation, it made you feel more, majority of the time, it made you feel emotionally and physically unstable instead of making you feel good. But I feel like either it's either you couldn't walk away for some reason or you didn't for some reason. And none of those reasons are to be ashamed of. You know, we, we tend to stay in situations that hurt us because they're familiar and predictable. All right, recent past here for Scorpio, please. What was Scorpio dealing with in their recent past? You didn't think you could. You thought you needed this. You knew, though, Scorpio, you knew this didn't align with you. You knew it on a soul level. You knew how it made you feel. But you didn't think you could get away from it. You didn't think you could get away from it. And so I feel like you tried to make the most of it or I don't know. You just, you tried your best. You did everything you could because you didn't think, you thought on some level you thought you needed this thought you had to stay. You thought there was no way out. Current energy for Scorpio clarifying, know you are loved and be humble. When I was in high school, I had this history teacher. I don't know why this is coming through, but I had this history teacher. I don't even remember his name, but I remember that he would always say where there's a will, there's a way. And of course that's a, you know, it's a common saying. We've all heard it before where there's a will, there's a way. But it used to make me so mad because I'd be like, but there isn't a way. You know, when, when I was dealing with something or going through something, I'd be like, there isn't a way. There isn't a way to make this work out. There isn't a way. And I, you know, I've learned, and it's kind of funny that this is coming up, but I've learned over time there is always a way. There is always a way out. There is always a way forward. There is always a way through. But you have to have the will and the faith to find that and to take the necessary steps to get there. Current energy for Scorpio clarifying, no, you are loved and be humble. I just, I feel someone out there was saying like, well, well, there wasn't a way out. Like I couldn't leave or I could, I can't leave or something like that. Yes, you can. You just don't know how yet. Current energy for Scorpio clarifying, no, you are loved with be humble. Look at this. This situation is freaking stressing you out. It is taking so much from you, Scorpio, or it took from you. Something drained you, and it drained you pretty intensely with the Nine of Swords and the Empress in Reverse. Um, when I see the Empress in Reverse and the Lovers in Reverse in a reading, that really means that whatever situation you are going through is trying to teach you that you are deserving of more than what you are going through. Um, the universe has a real backwards way of teaching us stuff, huh? Um, you know, it's easy to get stuck on what happened and to feel, you know, like a victim. And I am, you very well might be a victim. I'm not saying you're not, but you don't want to get caught up in that victim mentality because then that will just create more of the same kind of perspective for yourself in the future, which creates more of the same kind of situation, situations where you always feel like you are the victim. Taking your power back is switching your mentality from being a victim to being a survivor. To looking at it from the perspective of, yes, what happened to me freaking hurt. And it sucked and it was painful and it was, you know, everything that I didn't want to go through. But when you can find the lesson and the reason and look at the other person from the perspective of love, you can 
and I keep saying this, free yourself from this. And that's what you, I feel like you ultimately want, Scorpio. Current energy for Scorpio. Know you are loved with be humble. Current energy for Scorpio. Ten of Wands. You are burdened, Scorpio. You are so over this energy. I feel like you've been carrying this around. And either you've been carrying the pain of what happened around. Or you're still invested in the situation in some way, shape, or form. And you have, you've been carrying that around. I just feel like there's this energy of, I don't know, let me get more on this kind of wands. It, it's like this resentment and this anger is fueling the stress. That's what this feels like. And it feels like if you're able to find some forgiveness, you wouldn't feel as stressed and anxious as you do. Okay, I don't need, that's what I, that's what I needed. I don't need any more on that. All right, let's get more for what Scorpio needs to know about their current energy. What does Scorpio need to know about their current energy, please? You are supposed to be exactly where you are right now. You have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse of the Ace of Wands. You are supposed to be exactly, if you feel unstable, if you feel unsure, if you feel uncertain, if you feel lost, if you feel confused, if you feel stressed, if you feel anxious, you are supposed to be exactly where you are right now because it is leading you to what you want with the Nine of Pentacles. It is leading you to what you want. Now, it doesn't feel like that at all. It feels like this. This is what it feels like. Stress, anxious, afraid. But it's leading you exactly where you want to be. You know, this Ace of Wands, it just feels like it's like, like a guiding light. Like, like you're, you're being guided through this. Even if you don't, if, even if you don't see it that way. Okay, immediate future for Scorpio. You have unleashed your kind of self with a 10 to the details. Immediate future for Scorpio. Immediate future for Scorpio. Unleash your kind of self and attend to the details. How can Scorpio free themselves from this? Page of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Huh, okay. So, this is interesting. Let me get more on this. Page of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups. So there is. So, here's the thing. Which you don't realize, this isn't really giving insight in how you're proud of yourself yet, but what you don't realize is that there is this opportunity that, al that aligns with you on the other side of this. But you are needing, you're going to have to work through this fully to get there. And part of what is going to have to happen is forgiveness. I said that I was going to talk about this. I dealt with a very intense karmic relationship. Oh gosh, I don't even remember that was. 2019? Yeah, four years ago. And it completely destroyed my world. I mean, we're talking narcissistic abuse, you know, gaslighting, all the whole nine yards. And it destroyed me. It completely ruined my sense of self, my sense of hope, my sense of everything like I, I, I don't even know how to explain it maybe if you're watching this reading you probably have been there right you felt that before um but I completely lost myself but 
even though I knew this person wasn't meant for me, because I knew that they didn't treat me well, I still had so much empathy for him. I knew, oh, I could see, I was like, oh, well, I get why he hurt me. You know, he's been hurt before. He has trust issues. That's why he can't trust me. It's like, I gave him so many excuses. And, you know, if I could just love him, if he just knows what real love is, then, you know, then he'll be able to, you know, see, and, you know, whatever. I was stuck on this connection for like two years after it ended. And we only dated for seven months. Like he completely destroyed my life in a good seven month period. Talent, right? Um, I mean, I'm talking, I quit my job. I lost my mind. I ended up in the hospital. Like I, it's a lot of things happened because of this relationship. And I hated him for it. I had so much anger and so much resentment. I had empathy. I could see why. But then at the same time, I held all of this anger, this frustration and, and like downright resentment for this person. Um, once I kind of got over the hump of like, oh, I see why he treated me. Then it turned to anger. And then I couldn't free myself from his energy. It's like I couldn't shake it. It was always there. It was always around. It 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 changed the way I viewed relationships. It changed the way I viewed myself. I mean, it, it really, it really, really affected my life in a lot of ways. And I say that because after a long period of time, I kind of fell back into that empathetic way of viewing things and being able to say, okay, he is just a person. And he's not some evil mastermind. He is a person that was hurting and I got involved with him in a romantic way and therefore took on that hurt that he placed on me. And sure, that doesn't excuse him of his behavior, but it, it allows me to see things from a bigger perspective and say, I actively chose to stay with that man for five or six months after I saw who he really was and the way that he was capable of treating me because he showed me very early on. It wasn't like it came out later in the relationship and I was too far in. No, I, I knew very early on who he was. But I, like I said, I had that empathy of like, oh, if I could just love him, we could just see who, what real love was. And I realized I loved him more than I loved myself. So I can blame him all day long for the way that he treated me. I can blame him, you know, for pain he caused and the way that he stripped me of my sense of self-worth I can blame him for all of that but I have to blame myself just as much for staying because I stayed and I begged and I pleaded for things to change and they never did and I I am just as much at fault as he is and when I was able to realize that it was almost this weight lifted off my shoulder because then it goes from being like, what if this happens again? What if this next person screws me over? This next person acts just the same to me. Instead, I'm able to say no, because the next time I feel the way that I did, I'm going to choose myself. I'm going to choose myself and I'm going to walk away and I'm never going back there again. And it put the power back in my hands. And now I don't blame either of us because without that relationship, I never would have found my worth learned how to love myself and I never would have met my current partner who is the best man I've ever met. I because of my relationship I had to I moved states to get away from this man. Like it was so bad that I moved across the country and back home because I couldn't I couldn't deal with being in the same city as him. And so moving back home put me back in alignment with my path and led me to my current partner and so on and so forth. So what I'm saying is Everything that happens to us, no matter how painful, is trying to lead us back to what we are aligned with. And that's what this message is saying. There is an opportunity out there that aligns with your path. Once you can get through what you are going through, you can get to the other side of this. I promise you. But you have to look at that. You have to look at the other person from the plate, from a place of compassion and learn what it is you need to learn reveal what needs to be seen so you can forget forget and move on and i've forgiven him for everything i don't hold any reason it will i ever let him back in my life absolutely not but i don't blame him anymore i don't hold any resentment anymore all right immediate future for scorpio i know that that was a long story but i just i feel like it really i don't know it really seems to resonate with this reading the seven of pentacles with a hierophant you need to realize that a lot, and this is what this is saying. You have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Six of Cups in reverse. A lot of the reason that things have happened to you the way that they did is because of the energy you have behind investing in it. 
is that hard truth I was talking about. I, I'm not a believer in blame. I believe that two people meet and two people get hurt or what, you know, if, if someone's hurt because two people meet, it's, it's all for a reason. I really, truly believe in everything happens for a reason. Now, I can even say that about some of the most devastating experiences I've had in my life. Like, I really believe that everything happens for a reason. And when we can find that reason, we can release ourselves, move on and heal. Now, it doesn't help work. It doesn't mean that the pain goes away. You still feel the same way you did, did about it. You've got to work through those feelings. You've got to work through all of the grief and the, the anger. You've got to work through it all. But it's easier to work through it when you understand it. Immediate future for Scorpio. Immediate future for Scorpio, please. Immediate future for Scorpio, please. The lovers in reverse. This is all teaching you your worth, Scorpio. This is all teaching you what you deserve. You had to learn what you don't deserve so that you know what you do. And it's hard because, you know, I think back to that relationship I had. I ignored so many red flags in the beginning of that. So many. But there was a part of me that was like, oh, for me, he'll be different. For me, he'll change. For me, he'll do this. For me, he'll do that. And even if you, and some of it wasn't even conscious. It was just like, yeah, okay. Like, I remember our first date, like, the way I felt after, I felt unsafe. And I felt like, it, it's just, it's interesting. And I'm not saying that all situations are like that but listen to your gut when you get involved with people and when you get involved in experiences because your intuition knows best all right scorpio i'm gonna hop on over to the extended we're gonna pull um clarify these messages i'm gonna pull some advice and then i have an actual advice card to pull from the divine at the end for my angels of abundance deck thank you so much as always for the support of my channel i do hope that this reading helped and resonated with you in a way that you were needing today i know that it was a hard truth reading i know that it's hard to see you know see where your fault lies in situations that are painful. So please understand I've been there. Um, I hope you don't hate me, but I do hope that this, you know, I do hope that this helped. And as always, I wish you nothing but love and healing on your journey moving forward. All right. Goodbye, Scorpio.